Hi everybody, Stella Rose all day here with an update on the Erin Carter investigation. Um, today is November 26, the 22. Thank you everybody who's been sending me um, information um, and sharing in the conversation. This is a conspiracy theory. Um, and okay, so let's get, let's get started. No news is good news from the family. Allow them to grieve. And not, and not only that, we already know that they had nothing to do with his death. So it, it does, it just, all that matters going forward is who steps up on his behalf. And his brother has already done that. And so has his twin. And so, um, let's just leave the family be for right now. Okay. They just lost their brother. Okay. So we think it was a staged crime scene. Um, and always, you know, the thing is, is when you're doing these types of things, they always want to use the art of distraction. That's the point, okay? Even if he did buy cans at Walmart, that doesn't make that the reason of his death, okay? So people want to know, well, what's going on? What's going on? Well, listen, he's a celebrity, okay? He will be investigated because 26 years as a recording artist, they, they have to do that. I mean, they'll, you know, I'm sure like if I was the authorities, I'd be interviewing witnesses. I would establish a motive because if they go in and issue a warrant for anything, they cannot screw this up. This has got to be lock, stock and barrel. There's a lot of information that needs to happen before anybody is taken down because this wasn't a murder. You know, no foul play is like there wasn't a murder, he wasn't shot. They found him in the tub, okay? So the only way he could have died in the tub was to be um, poisoned or overdosing. So then they're going to do the toxicology test to find out what toxin killed him because that's what killed him was a toxin. They're going to interview doctors, friends, manager, housekeeper, Betty. Who did he spend, spend his last hours with? Betty is the housekeeper. Momo's the guy at Walmart who um, is friends with Check the Star. Allegedly, um, camera footage on that Friday night is missing from Aaron's home. Betty, the homeless lady. But she had really nice teeth. Did it have anything to do with the dental bill? Remember when his ex was like, you owe me 20 grand for a $17,000 dental bill? And then later, Aaron went and made her go on film and say, no, that wasn't true. I mean, maybe she did have a dental bill, but that wasn't for Aaron's teeth. I mean, a homeless lady having a nice grill like that I don't know it's just it's just questions I'm just asking questions she also called them Mr. and Mrs. Carter but he alleged he was single and never going to marry her and she was the one that wouldn't let the title go and assume her new role as the ex okay so I'm saying that Betty came in through this route here now, where's Ben? Where has Betty been? You know, she could possibly be in ICE custody because we haven't seen her again. We saw her leaving with the sheriff and her clothes in a bag. And like, she only had a bag of clothes and like, she wasn't, she knew she wasn't going to be there very long is what I'm thinking. They probably took her into the station and was like, hey, you know, you got to uh, fill out some forms or we got to take a witness, blah, 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 blah. But we, we never heard from her or seen her since, okay? Now, the ex claims that on the day of his death or the day before that Friday, excuse me, that Friday, Betty texts her that Aaron's eating snacks. So that's an inconsistency there. There's a broken chain there. Okay, welfare check. Did the police interview Aaron? Okay, this is a question. Did the police interview Aaron? Because if, from my understanding, the police and the and, and Betty talked, but did Aaron talk to the officers? Because if the officers f uh, failed a welfare check, then that is an issue because maybe he could have been saved at that point, but we don't know. That's body camera footage is the only thing that's gonna back that up. Now, Momo, second to last person to see him. Escalade window, Aaron's Escalade window was down. Why, why would a window be down in a car? Either you're smoking a cigarette or you're sitting in there and it gets hot. There was a pack of cigarettes. I'd like to know if those cigarettes contained like any kind of laced substance, okay? Maybe that wasn't Aaron's pack of cigarettes, okay? The phone was in there, but who knows why the phone was in there? We didn't get to that. We didn't get that far yet, okay? So now, the body's found in the tub, but the water was warm, question mark, 33 hours. 
Decomposition, decomposition starts four minutes after you have passed away. So who put him in the tub? Because we think that he was already dead before he got into the tub because warm water or hot water would decompose faster. That was um, somebody who gave me a tip about that one. Okay, and he couldn't drown because he was too big to drown. He, he didn't even fit in that tub. It was too small for him. Okay, so the 24 hours in between that, you know, from the from when we could track back, were they arguing about the plan? Like, where was the breakdown in communication? In any problem, there's a breakdown in communication. So let's just go back to the eating snacks text over here. Okay, that's a breakdown in communication. Okay, when you have a breakdown in communication, you have a breakdown. Okay, so I feel like during that day was the arguing of the plan because the ex already threw her under the bus saying that they got a text. So something was going on there. So as long as they got the maid, that's the housekeeper, which I think they do. Coffee, days before, was inhaling oxygen. Compressed air st is still air. People say, oh, he was huffing on live. He was, huff he was not huffing, okay? Inhaling... Inhaling ear is not huffing. Huffing, spray, huffing is when you spray into a cloth and then you sniff it, okay? So even if he was smelling compressed air, it's still air. He was huffing oxygen, maybe because something was in his coffee, but like he, he was too strong and the coffee didn't take him out. So then this is where the pack of cigarettes come in that I believe could be laced because he probably inhaled it because he got it. Oh, here, hey, bro, I got you some cigs or swapped it out. Remember, the hand is quicker than the eye. That's why evidence is extremely important because it'll happen before you see it. You have to go back and collect the evidence, okay? So if, this, if, the, scene of the, the, if the scene of the crime was staged, you know, I, I mean, it, it, it's going to play out. We got to let it play out, okay? Everybody wants everything Amazon fast. That's not how it works. I can't breathe. X's last tech or uh, text right after his death. Okay. And the thing is, is if he died from a poison, the authorities are going to want to know there's a drug and then there's a poison. Fentanyl is a poison. Okay. It's not a drug of choice. It's an absolute, this is what kills you. Okay. Sony. I don't think Sony had anything to do with it. You know, like um, Stella Rose, I'm an author. I'm a legal mafia whistleblower, which means I point out inconsistencies in the law for normal people who don't understand their rights, because that's what they're counting on is you don't know what I know. Sony, I don't know about that in the Illuminati. I'm going to push that to the side. Okay. They may have owed him money, but I guarantee you, Sony, they're, that's a, that's a long standing corporation. They're gainfully employed. They're going to pay him. Okay. God may delay, but he don't forget. That could have played a, into a private settlement. His will he was working on, but it was unfinished because he only wanted to provide for his son. As far as having the trailer, he was probably moving. That's why the furniture was in storage, okay? And he was probably going to drive the trailer to be closer to one of his family members, okay? Now, the personal property. This is like really breadcrumbs compared to the big deal, which is the baby. So can they uh, issue a warrant if it's grand theft? Personal property versus assets. I mean, two 26-foot moving trucks, you'd have to produce receipts that you own that personal property. Can you go in the home and get things? Yes, you can go in the home and get things. Your personal items, okay? But um, let's talk about check real quick. You know, check, you know, I don't, I'm not mad at check. I mean, I think he broke bro code, but he, he's really not talented, you know? And he's also, I don't feel like check's a killer. I feel like, you know what I feel like check's role is? Is exactly what he's doing. Running interference, okay? He's good for security. You know, like how God gives everybody a gift? I, I feel like, Check is still finding himself. And when he finds out what his special talent is, he won't need to lean on Aaron Carter's profile picture or, or blah, 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 blah. He's going to figure it out, okay? But running interference, he's the one that's getting, he's the punching bag right now, okay? What was the reason why him and Aaron didn't talk? What, why, what makes two men don't talk? 
a, a cockfight, okay? Like, remember, this guy, he's not a business guy. He's on lives scrounging for money, okay? So that's what I'm going to say. When he gets sick and tired of not having any money and he's getting starved off because because he doesn't have to run interference anymore, oh, oh boy, he's going to go. But right now, they're aligned, but that's just for right now. You got to give him a minute to figure it out, okay? He just lost his friend. He, he, he don't, I feel like Chuck has nothing to do with it. He's not a smart guy. Sorry, but he's very inexperienced and I'm older and I'm, I'm past middle age, so I can say things like that. That's why we write memoirs, okay? The ex, full makeup, no swollen face from crying, shows up like that. Nick, don't focus on Nick, okay? We can't speak about what happened. You can, I'm not going to speak about what happened. That was personal family business. There's two sides to every story. And then we're in lies the truth. And I'm not going to speak about Nick when Nick can speak about Nick. But I think that focusing on their argument or for whatever their relationship is, that's really none of our business. That's that's personal business, okay? Let's let's focus on the facts. Now, the rapper, I, I don't know if his name is Richie. People are saying his name is Richie. That would come in as the drug supplier and also like the dosing information. But I don't know that for sure. This is just information I'm collecting from behind the scenes. Remember, Aaron was an empath and nothing and nothing else trumps karma. Even if the legal system fails us, like it did me in my books that I write, Aaron is going to haunt, okay? And I guarantee you no peace, no peace. That doesn't even do it justice. No peace, okay? Nobody will have peace until we get answers. An afterlife is a soulmate. So if they were really soulmates, you know that they've been together through other lifetimes. This is just the way that it plays out. I feel like all that we want at the end of the day is for Prince to be taken care of and to on, be honored as Aaron Carter's legacy and get a good life, okay? That's all that we're saying. Uh, we need to wait for the toxicology um to come in you um <coughs> excuse me thank you everybody who's been subscribing to my channels on tiktok instagram youtube and facebook as we know some platforms take down uh videos but we're not mad at you because you give me an opportunity to uh, have a platform to talk so thank you very much and i hope you all find it interesting namaste